As the world faces the COVID-19 pandemic, countries are in a race against time to test for the disease. But not all tests are created equal. An international investigation by OCCOP has found a marquee global market for rapid antibody tests, a popular form of quick testing that can be done in just 10 minutes. Lines down the street this morning at City MD clinics in New York. Antibody tests is a way to help identify who's been infected. But in some cases, experts tell us tests were coming back as false negatives. COVID-19 test kits have been seized by Australian Border Force officers, prompting warnings about the dangers of buying dodgy tests online. When it comes to diagnosing COVID-19, the gold standard is PCR, or molecular tests. These work by detecting the genetic material of the coronavirus. The tests are typically done in a lab and can take hours or days to come back. Rapid antibody tests are different and they're not nearly as conclusive. They work by detecting antibodies that the body makes as it fights off the virus. A patient places a sample of blood on a plastic cassette which will then indicate if the patient tests positive for viral antibodies. Results are typically ready in 10 to 30 minutes. These tests typically do not work well in the early stages of the infection, when antibodies are low. Independent clinical trials have found that sometimes they can give false results. On top of these limitations are quality issues that have emerged with test kits made in China. These has led to thousands of kits being sent back. In this market, tests made in the European Union or the United States are often seen as a more reliable alternative. OCCRP's investigation, however, found that millions of these tests are made in China. Reporters found at least three brands that were reselling tests made by a Chinese manufacturer with European and American labels. One of these tests was marketed throughout the world as a Dutch-made product. The tests have been sold to governments, health services and clinics in countries including France, Britain, Indonesia and Russia. Buying and relabeling tests like this is legal. Misleading customers and patients about their true origins, however, is not.